Let me introduce, uh, this is like Fashion Whisper from Vancouver, Farhat. Yeah, nice to see you here again. Nice to see you, man. What's going on? How are things? This is, uh, I mean, my buddy Jan, but uh, ex everything. Professional player, professional this. I mean, player meaning soccer. It's just to confirm. Not, not yeah, the women's football. player. Not yeah. the women's player. Yeah. No, no. Uh, what's going on? How's it going? Business okay? Business good. Business good. How is like everything in like uh, in Mikur? What do you think? Considering what's everything happening right now, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, depends what business you're at. If you're construction and things like that, business is booming. Yeah. If you're uh, uh, restaurants, unfortunately, you know, it's not very good for you. It's a small store, but otherwise, you know, it's hard to be. Uh, what do you think about like uh, uh, like the retail and how things are moving in the retail? I think it's doing pretty well considering like a lot of people shopping online. So I'm super excited about your like your line of uh, clothes. So first of all, like thanks for the hat, you know. I oh, appreciate no it. That's the least I could do. You know? The black dagger. That's like you know like. So basically, what it is is uh, I started my own uh, working on my own like, for the last two years right now. Uh, we don't want to start too big and then not able to uh, fulfill fulfill the needs. So we, I started with the hat first. Uh, it took me about two years to develop this hat because I'm a very big hat guy and I'm very picky with uh, with hats. I love how it's like detailed, it's like so, so much. The, the detail is like, an, um, basically what it is is like, because uh, I grew up in Rome, you know, I, this is a Roman dagger. This is a Roman dagger, like, you know. Uh, Centurions. Centurion, exactly, classic. And uh, inside also you can see it is made in Canada as well. Oh wow. So we make That's it, very like rare, you know, in this industry. Absolutely. So make it, we make it locally uh, in Richmond, actually. Wow. Uh, so we've done this. Uh, I can see like the quality is like totally different than. Yeah, the quality is better than any other hat we're probably trying on. Yeah. We have five stars just for uh, looking at the stars basically, and then we have inside each hat is numbered. So we are again it's Roman numbers, and you have a dragon inside with the black heart. Like when you get the barber, it's like if he knows how to cut your hair, it's like it's good. Huh? I'm not joking, one time I was in Iceland, I'm like sitting in a new room, I came to Iceland, sit down at the barber, I was like, okay, oh, cut my like, fade, all the stuff, I'm like reading something, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, if my hair grows fast, you know, it was like a couple of, like a week, it was like, I'm like, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm like, I, I, I feel you, bro. I was like, no, I was like, what the hell happened? What you know? Jan, so what uh, team did you play for? I used to play in uh, in Germany. I played for Bochum in Italy, Vicenza. Then I played in uh, in Slovenia for two clubs like Zalia and Maribor. And then I played in Austria, Linz. I played in uh, uh, Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, I played in FC Fujira. I played in uh, Kuwait for Yarmouk. I played in Iceland for like. Uh, Kawa, Kawer, Thor, mm -hmm. and then I finished my professional soccer career and now I'm a banker. <laughs> He's a nice. banker. <laughs> <laughs> all those monies he made with, the, uh, with all the teams now he's banking. He's banking the money. <laughs> How about you? Did you play? You said you played too. Right? I didn't soccer. play, not professional, I just played not, for fun. Ah, just uh, for fun, I see. It's not, uh, yeah. Not, not like. Too many injuries to try to play yeah. professional. He will tell you playing professional is tough sport. Yeah. Of course. It's better than we have like one in a million kids will make it, right? Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, you know, different times for me. Yeah. It's yeah. like in that movie, Go. Have you ever yeah, seen? Yeah. yeah, it's a really nice movie. Yeah, same idea. It's yeah. tough to be professional. Yeah. You need the support of the, the whole... I feel like a community, right? Like, you know, even they can, like, stop. You have, like, let's say, like, when you start as a kid, you know, you have, like, I don't know, let's say, everybody around the block is playing soccer, you know? But then, you know, after year after year, less and less kids just fade away, you know? Yeah, they don't have this, like, mentality to, like, progress you know and then I was like fortunate like I li literally like, for my generations uh, I have quite there are quite many players that made it you know yeah but plus it depends on your um, time too if you luck exactly especially like, be lucky too. and how many how like what kind of agents you have like how what kind of parents you have you know sometimes you be forced to and very important thing is like school so I was fortunate like I was I'm quite Clever. <laughs> what it means it wasn't good at school. 
Twitch fosse o trabalho não é só agora. Eu não tinha isso. 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 Eu Uh, I don't know, so you, you had to learn like a new language for you. It was a rough time, though. You had to figure yeah. out where to live. And it was that uh, we went through a toughest time. Yeah. Plus, uh, that time, Italy was, was a lot of racism going on as well. So I faced, exactly. I faced all that. So it made me a better, better person, you know? Yeah. Like, today, because if I didn't go there, I wouldn't be what I am today, you know? And in Italy, you told me that like, you played like, you were pretty good in like volleyball, correct? Right? Yeah, I played a lot of volleyball, yeah. But yeah, I won a lot of championships and things like that. Because you had to choose. Because you play volleyball, you play soccer, you're yeah. playing rugby, yeah. so it depends. But it's crazy, like in Italy, like it's just like a uh, calcio, and that's it's culture. Like, uh, no, volleyball is pretty big too. Yeah, right? I know. Like, like the, the thing is, in, in Italy and other European countries, even here actually, yeah. if you want to be people to love you, you just play sports. Yeah. If you're good at sports, yeah. everybody loves you. That's the reason, like, sport is kind of special. Like, soccer or any sport is kind of universal language. It's a bond. You, yeah. you, you come to whatever you come. Here is the ball, okay. We everybody knows what to do, you know. And everybody will accept you. Yeah. You go, oh wow, this yeah. is uh, that's matter where you're from. The race disappears. True. The race and religion definitely disappears. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, they see you as you're, you know, you're yeah, exactly. an immigrant, you're yeah. blah, blah, exactly. blah, you know, Italian, yeah. you're not yeah. Caucasian, so that they, they judge you as you are. But as soon as you go to sport, yeah, and you go, it does okay, does, yeah. that disappears. So. Exactly. Uh, fortunately, very fortunate to be like that, but yeah. I mean. Like a young kid going there facing all different things and racism about But it's know. crazy, like when, yeah. when when people are just always in the same place, they don't face like this. Right. Thank, thank you for thank today. You. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Okay. And thank you man for fine work dude. Oh yeah.